everyone. Today I wanted to talk about what to do if you have made a decision about your child's education and maybe your spouse or your family members don't necessarily agree with you. So this pops up a lot of the times when it comes to homeschooling. Maybe um, one of the parents wants to homeschool and the other parent does not. And I find that this happens a lot because a lot of us, and I do mean a lot of us, have a lot of deep-rooted beliefs about what education is, what it should be, what it looks like, and how it should be conducted. So, and those those deep-rooted beliefs come from what we've seen for our lives and how education has been. So, sometimes when a parent says, I'm going to homeschool, you get a lot of blowback from grandparents, aunts, uncles, and all that. So, it's really hard to navigate that space. So I just really want to talk about it. There's lots of different strategies that you could use, but this is one of them that I find just opens the lines of communications w with that person that is completely against it and is telling you not to do it. So the first thing is to just talk to them like, and just give them your reasoning. Now, I believe that you don't have to explain yourself to everyone. It's your family, so you do what's best for your family. But if you are in the right space to have a discussion with a family member or even a spouse about your decision and why you're making that decision, sit down with them and give them the pros and cons. So tell them like, this is why I want to do this. Like they're struggling in school. Like I don't want to continue to drop my kid off at school if they, if they're struggling. Um, it's beneficial for them to be at home and list off all your reasons and just really speak from the heart because I find that when we speak from the heart, people are more receptive to what we're what we're saying because a lot of the times if you're in conflict with anybody I've done this myself I'll come into the conversation knowing what I want to say and then the other person will come into the conversation knowing what they want to say and we're so wrapped up in what we want to say we don't even hear the other person so to get through to get through to them just talk with feeling it's like look this is what's happening with my child and this is what I believe and and we're going to do this and if they don't take your reasoning, that's okay too. Um, you're the parent or caregiver. It's really your decision. And also just tell them like, this is something that we're trying. Maybe this isn't the end all be all. Like we're going to home, we're going to try homeschooling or we're going to try public education and see where it gets us, see where we go and see if my child responds because there is no one size fits all model when it comes to kids. They're all so different. The same with us adults. Like we're all so different. So, and it's weird that we are very aware that all adults are different. But then when it comes to kids, we expect them all to fit into the same model. And it's like, wait a second. Like we know that we're different. Why don't we know that about our children and that they have different needs? So just remember to speak with feeling if you choose to have that conversation with that person and let them know like this is why I'm doing this and I would really like your support um, make sure you end with that like I would really like your support because it's hard to tell somebody like no you don't have my support but granted it does happen but it's harder to say that um, so just ask for their support and and then just keep moving forward and be brave and just know that you're doing what you feel is best for your child because that's really all we can do. Nobody has all the answers. Nobody. Honestly, nobody has all the answers as much as we would like. Um, even myself with my children, I don't have all the answers with my own babies, but I have a lot of different strategies that I've learned over the course of several years teaching um, that I try. And you just have to keep trying and searching for answers and doing what's best for your kids because it can be a tough road. But at the end of the day, I know that your children will appreciate you for doing what you felt was best. So I hope you're having a great day. Um, that's all I have for you today. Let me know in the comments below what kind of decisions are you making right now for your children? Are you deciding to homeschool or are you putting them in public education? Let me know in the comments below. There's no wrong answer. I, I think everybody should do what works for them and their family. But let me know what you have going on in the comments below and I will see you tomorrow.